a today is Reish Chaydesh Tamas, and I'm holding a talk of the rabbi given on Gimel Tamas Parshas Kairach. Gimel Tamas is the day that we no longer see physic- physically the rabbi with our eyes, although the talk is not about his own no longer being with us in reality. The power it's giving us is a life lesson for how to create this post Gimel Tama's reality in the way that the Rebbe intended. The Rebbe says about the events that happened on Gimel Tama's, all being miracles within nature. There's this, the stopping of the sun to win the war. Hashem could have just won the war, made a complete miracle, but no. Hashem made a little change within nature. The Friedrich Rebbe's changed from imprisonment to exile. Not the biggest deal. If it was a miracle, the Friedrich Rebbe could, could have just been free. And similarly, the Jews of Russia could have just been freed at the same time. Why is everything over time, slowly within nature, where nature itself begins to to want to go along with this idea of freeing or the miracle. The third thing, iron stick, blossoming almonds, which could have happened just right away, blossoming almonds. But instead, Hashem chose to first put the blossoms, the leaves, whatever, and then the almonds. The Rebbe points out this idea of gimel to dalit, gaimel dalim, showing generosity to the poor, from the month, the third month to the fourth month, Sivan to Tamas. Sivan is kind of an open month, and Tamas is kind of like a poor month. Dalid represents the idea of poor, just like the Resh, but the Dalid has the Yud. And in the idea of poor, the Rebbe points out the idea of nullification. I could be nullified and poor of who I am as a person, and that will land me nowhere. I will just be simply poor. Or I could be a channel for godliness and that will lift me above everything and allow me to change reality while not not having reality change, but me changing reality. Showing generosity to the poor. Gaimel Dalim, the Gimel Tidadalid. Finally, the Rebbe concludes that ultimately we need to reach those lowest levels of reality, the lowest levels of creation where seemingly there's no godliness found. How to get there is when we wake up in the morning and we know our mission, we know the truth. We know that this world is meant to reveal light and goodness. Then we have the ability to get even to the lowest levels and and bring there the mission Hashem wants us to bring there. And when we do that, the Rebbe points out that the staff was placed together with the mana, the mana representing livelihood. The only reason that we work is in order for Hashem to hide his miracle within nature. Technically, a Jew's parnasa is completely miraculous. And we know from what the Rebbe said that every Jew has an abundance waiting for them. But Hashem put this idea, the staff together with the man, that his sustenance is dependent on Hashem and not on natural means alone. Together, the miracle with the man to help us realize that it's actually not what we do that yields results. And in that way, we have the biggest power. When we are poor, like the Dalid, with the Yud sticking on the side, we become that channel that abundance could come to knowing that everything we are is godly. Everything we do, everything we touch is godly and we could uplift that. 
These miracles will permeate the nature of the world and the world itself, and the Gentile nations will assist the Jews in earning a livelihood and indeed enable them to enjoy prosperity as we have seen in the present generation. So why does the rabbi feel the need to point out about livelihood? Like, isn't livelihood gashmias? Why the need? Why say this specifically? I don't think it was a mistake. The rabbi goes on for like a page about this. Without livelihood, a Jew does not have the ability to uplift physicality. The goal here, what the rabbi is saying, is I want you... Hashem's goal for us is he wants us to take reality and make it miraculous. The Jew has this power. And so Hashem wants to give it to the Jew. The Jew just needs to know what he is, be a channel, and allow for that flow. Have a wonderful Shabbos and take care. Thank you for listening.